This tutorial is back on Antergos open box and there's one issue that we have not talked about yet. We uh, skimmed over it and this this one. This is tint, tint 2. And when we press Windows spacebar, I can now kill my Nemo. So I can have the right mouse click menu back again. So tint, I've made a menu for myself, some, some things I always go to, so they are my own customization. So the things we always need are in here. The things for the generating of the menu, generating from open bo box and exit open box is also new. So that happens when you uh, reinstall open box and then you think, well, you have other visions and other things you discover. And now we're going to talk about Tint 2 RC. Starting is just starting at Tint 2, but it's not necessary, it's there already. Tint 2 configuration is something we can have a look at. So you can have different kind of themes. You can just tell the system, take this one or take that one. So different kind of looks, uh, very strange looks, but I like the way it is, but I want to change it. So edit theme is waiting too long. Okay, edit theme. So we can change colors here as well. So in the, well, in the GUI and graphic user interface, it's up to you what you like best or cancel. You can go to this one, customize tint to RC. So this is the file anyway that it's going to look at. So you can either go into this uh, text here and figure out what to do. Uh, for instance, for instance, let's take a look at the icon themes. I want to make it a little bit bigger. There is a line there up there that I don't know what it's doing. So we're gonna check out what we can do. So background color probably transparency, I don't know, 60. So I don't know everything, I'm just learning like you, but I can share what I do know already. Panel size 100%, so that's probably the width. And that's the height then. Panel padding, the margin, font shadow. So I want the size to be changed. Let's go over it, let's read what it says and figure out together what it might be. This is the Sistray bar, that's this thing here. Okay, the clock, just for the clock. Uh huh, I can make that a little bit bigger already. A bit too small for my taste. The same applies for this one. And let's save it. Is it already, do, do, does it use it or not? So let's run start in two. Uh huh, so that's definitely changed now. but it's ugly as hell, so we'll have to fix it. But there are two tints at this moment. We, we need to kill a tint. Two, so turn on, kill all tint two, like so, and then run it, has it better like so. So let it be, it's okay when it's like that. So this is what we'll get when we reboot. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit too big, and uh, as well, it's not not all sans regular. We could try and see if if it takes the not all sans. We know what that is. Give it a try. Save. Control C, arrow up, run again. Not sure if this is not all sans. I can't really tell. But um, the font is a little bit bigger. The font color is white, 67. Let's see if I'm correct, if it's transparency or not. Definitely transparency. So it's not white white, which is 100, but it's a little bit uh, lighter. Like so, clock padding, background idea, 
if we click on here it's gonna run G simple call great it's good enough for us battery don't have it tooltip whatever at this point in time we're not looking for that we can close mouse right is close when you have something open right mouse click and he wants to close it as you see and mouse scroll up is toggle and iconify so if we scroll up that's gonna happen okay nice to know but still looking for the information about not the clock not the sys tray padding sort icon size whoa that's the one i only want to have let's try 24 save is that has changed anyway don't see any difference is this 24 that's strange so 24 let's exaggerate 40 okay no now we're sure so the sys tray icon size is not working padding 0 4 5 Uh -huh. a little bit bigger let's take um, let's take let's take 26 what am I thinking I am thinking that the panel is set up here to be 30 panel size 30 let's give him 35 a little bit more a little bit wider and then come back down here for the sys tray to be 30 or so with two padding at the top pull padding down uh, too much too much so save again reload better this one I like now the the clock the, the the time is not that good it would be better if it would be bold let's see if you understand what I mean yeah it's wider and let's make the clock a little bit now maybe even 90 I want it to be wider like the rest Voila, that's more like it. So you see it's a simple experiment, simple reading and, and figuring out what to do. It's not that difficult. And if you want to change it this way, let's have a look what I did. So if we want to customize the configuration and edit the theme, let's wait for it to load. Edit the theme, let's see what we did here so the fill color border color did I change anything here panel it's up here position length size 35 that's my number I changed panel items the task bar the system tray the clock task bar I changed some padding And here's my font. I wonder why it's not applied. Mm -hmm. Task bar, task buttons. It's, it only depends what he's talking about. Maybe this is the task bar. Um, mm -hmm. Task buttons, left click, wheel scroll. We've seen that. Show an icon, show text, center text. The launchers we want to see oh yeah we can add some launchers if we want to for instance for instance we always want to have firefox there let's see what happens nothing happens 
launchers, applications, appearance, background, apply. Let's do control C. 10 2. No, should be here somewhere. So, still time to figure out some stuff. That's nice. It's fun to study this system a bit more. And the system tray, the battery, and the tooltips. Okay, so that's that. I'll leave it, uh, I'll leave you with this. Let's start in two again, but this time with the, the sign behind it. And there you have it. Let's uh, stop the tutorial. So tin two is not yet finished. Oh yeah, the little little bar at the top should be fixed as well. So we still need to figure that out. Why it's it's a little bit lighter up there. I only can gather that it's we need a horizontal margin of horizontal vertical vertical margin of minus one is that possible no you cannot do here minus one here but it should be somewhere in the measurements that we tell him that he has still a pixel or so at the top and we should take a look where that might be the taskbar horizontal padding vertical padding spacing maybe one of these but that's for another time to figure that out enjoy this new desktop open box